Rolls Royce, the epitome of luxury and exclusivity. Only a limited number are produced and each individual unit is made to order. They cost upwards of half a million euros, more than a house, more than the average European earns after 25 years of work. A luxury car that very few can afford, which makes the sales figures even more astonishing. Rolls-Royce has achieved a record profit last year and sold more cars than ever before in its 100-year history, all in the midst of the economic crisis. It seems the luxury industry knows no crisis. How can it be that the luxury industry is booming like this, while across Europe there is austerity and benefits are being cut? The explanation is surprisingly simple. The rich of this world have become even richer since the economic crisis in 2009. Psalm 49. Hear this, all ye people. Give ear, all ye inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor, together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. I will incline mine ear to a parable. I will open my dark saying upon the harp. Wherefore should I fear in the days of evil, when the iniquity of my heels shall compass me about? They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their soul is precious, and it ceaseth forever, that he should still live forever and not see corruption. For he seeth that wise men die, Likewise, the fool and the brutish person perish and leave their wealth to others. Then what thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man being in honor abideth not. He is like the beasts that perish. This their way is their folly. Yet their posterity approve their sayings, Selah. Like sheep, they are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them, and the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning, and their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me, Selah. Be not thou afraid when one is made rich, when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. Though while he lived, he blessed his soul, and men will praise thee when thou doest well to thyself. He shall go to the generation of his fathers. They shall never see light. Man that is in honor and understandeth not is like the beasts that perish. <laughs>